Hi, welcome to our first time setup video. Today we're going to be uh, setting up the PolySync 20 Plus for the first time. There's a number of different ways to uh, connect this device to computers or mobile devices. So we'll go through a, a few different options. So we've got our PolySync here fresh out of the box with its sticker still on. Um, we will note that that sticker is specifically covering the little rocket ship button. And it's got a little note there that says customize in poly software. And we'll get to that after. And what that means is you can actually customize the function of that rocket ship icon on your Sync 20 in the Polycom software. So first off, we're going to go ahead and unwrap the cable. So this is how you charge the device. Um, and this does act also as a portable battery pack. So you can charge other mobile devices from this and you do that from this port here. You can see you can open that up and there's a USB-A type plug there and then you could plug in your phone charger and run this for, as a charger for your mobile device. Um, that being said, it is also then battery powered so that all I am going to plug it in for the setup and to charge the device, it can operate wirelessly once it's charged. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the laptop and see what happens. So right now we've got the lights coming on and I am just going to reference the quick start guide. So it does say to wait until all the LEDs light up and it does look like the LEDs are lighting up to me. Alright, so we're going to install the PolyLens software for our Sync 20 and see what kind of features we can get into. So we'll just start up the installation program and you can download this application from the Poly support site and if you just search for PolyLens application then you'll find it for download. Bit of an introduction here from Polly. So you can actually create an account to log in, but for now we'll continue as a guest to go ahead and get started. So you'll see that it has immediately detected the Sync 20, and if you have multiple Poly devices, say a Sync 20 and one of the P5 webcams, you'll see those devices listed here in this local device manager. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Sync 20. And we'll see here that uh, the battery currently shows charged and that it is connected. You can dive into the settings. And this is where you can now get into the full customization of the device itself. This is also how you upgrade the software on the Sync 20. And you'll see that there is an option here to update. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we're updated to the latest version on our Sync 20. And then we'll continue on. Okay, so now that our update has uh, successfully completed, we're on the latest version of the software. So we'll go ahead and just do a few initial checks and make sure that uh, this device is set up. So if I look at my window settings, I can see that uh, it is selected now here as my audio device. And if I adjust the volume, what's interesting is that you'll see there's a meter on the device itself that as I move my volume up and down, the LED on the Sync 20 reflects the uh, current volume levels as well. Now, in addition to adjusting the audio from Windows, I can adjust it specifically on the device itself using the plus and minus buttons on either side of the microphone button. And that increases and decreases the volume of the poly. Um, so just a little quick test to make sure that I am getting audio through there from my computer. Yeah, and we are getting audio, so that's playing nicely for me. So great. So it looks like it's a fairly simple setup to get the initial device up and running on its own. Uh, I've got basic audio functionality on the device. And so we'll look now at customizing some of the special features of the, uh, the PolySync 20. So here we'll look at customizing the uh, little rocket icon on the Sync 20. And that's done under here. And just looking for the connection. So here we are, we have the rocket. So we can configure what the rocket button behavior is. And so you'll see that there's a couple of options here. Uh, virtual personal assistant is pulling up something like uh, Google or Siri. Um, you can use your device that way. Um, checking the status of your device, battery power, resuming your calls, redialing on mobile. I'm going to leave it on the play pause for now. And I do have a, a video queued up on YouTube here playing some music. And so when I press the rocket ship icon, it should start the music. And when I press it again, it should pause. 
So you can see that it is working, that it's initializing and uh, has started my music for me. And I'll go ahead and click it again and it pauses the music for me. So that's working really well. So there are a bunch of other features in here that you can customize to your likings. Um, depending on how you're going to use this device. And so it could be used as a music device, it could be used as a conferencing device on something like Teams or Zoom, where this is going to be your microphone and speaker. Okay, so we've set up our PolySync 20 using the wired USB connection. We've configured some features with the software. We do have the option now of connecting this to my laptop uh, via this uh, USB Bluetooth adapter that Poly includes. And so I'm going to go ahead and unplug the USB and I'll get some messages there when I do that. Power off. So because the device was being powered from my computer, it's going to turn itself off. And that's because this is a, a, a battery device, so you can operate it wirelessly. So I can just use the power button on the end here to turn it back on. And when I turn it on, it's going to go through its boot up status and give me some information about the device, battery levels, and let me know that it is turned on. And I'll be watching for the LEDs to turn on to know that it's turned on. Battery high. So we can see that the SYNC 20 is now powered on. I've got LEDs, and so it now is operating on battery power. No phone is connected. It's also letting me know that it's not connected to anything. So now I'm going to take the USB Bluetooth dongle and insert that into my computer. And so I do notice that in the tray there, the uh, PolyLens application connected. has lit up. And so now you'll see that I am actually to be able to monitor and manage this device over the Bluetooth connection. Um, you might not be able to see it on the end of the laptop there. I can try to spin it. But the end of the dongle is actually flashing a purple color to let us know that we're connected. And so now you'll also see that the USB adapter is also uh, reflected here in the PolyLens software to let me know that we're using that uh, device as well. And so now all the same functionality before that I had as a wired connection is now available to me over there. And it does look like it changed the device name now that it does show up as the, the Poly BT600, which I think is actually the adapter uh, rather than the SYNC 20 itself, but that is now going to power the SYNC 20. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a music test and see if my rocket ship icon still works. It doesn't look like it's there yet. Let me see if it's still playing music. So it is playing music. But it looks like we do lose some of the functionality of the USB connection when you go Bluetooth and that that customized rocket ship icon uh, doesn't seem to work over Bluetooth. So there will be some differences on the, the wired versus wireless. Now, one of the other interesting things about this device, because it is a battery operated device, is it also acts as a charging device for other USB devices. And you'll see that there is a port here in the end. And if I just open up that little uh, connector, you'll see there that you can actually plug in a USB-A cable um, for your cell phone and you could actually charge something like your cell phone off the Poly device. So a little bit of a nice little helpful feature there that if you are using this on the go or on the road, it's not only a nice wireless portable speaker, but it is also a battery charger for other USB devices. Okay, so we've looked at a couple ways of connecting the SYNC 20 uh, to my laptop, you know, via the USB cable and also using the wireless Bluetooth dongle that's included. So now we're going to look at pairing it to a mobile device. And so I have my Samsung phone here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to put the PolySync into pairing mode. And there is a small button on the side here that is the uh, sync button. So I'm going to push and hold that for a few seconds and then I'll get a message that it's in pairing mode. So now the uh, poly sync is ready for pairing and you can see the LEDs are moving and I'm going to go ahead and scan on my phone and we should see it pop up here. So I do see the poly sync 20 so I'm going to go ahead and select that for pairing. And I'm going to go ahead and pair pairing that up. Successful. Great. So now the device confirms that that I am connected and paired with my phone. So I'll take my phone here now. So this will act as a speaker and microphone if I'm on calls or on video calls using Teams or Zoom clients on my phone or just regular phone calls. And it also works as a playback for music for something like Spotify. So I'll just give it a quick test. 
and we've got music coming through from Spotify through my speaker now. So all in all, pretty simple to pair to your mobile device and a great combination so I can actually be charging this device from the PolySync as well. So now that my device is paired, one of the interesting things you'll see here is it is connected for my calls for audio and for music playback. And it also does show me the battery level. Uh, and this is helpful because the device itself doesn't have a battery indicator. When I'm connected to my computer, the Poly Lens software will show me the battery level. But it's nice here on my mobile device as well that I can see how much uh, charge is left in the Poly Sync, especially if I'm charging my mobile phone off this. I'll make sure that I don't completely drain it and that I uh, have enough battery left to keep doing my calls and listening to music.